Thank you for watching today's video about these new tools called Rotary Precision Corner. The two tools I have here is the 3 by 12 inch and 4 by 24 inch. Both tools comes with a preset instrumental hole markings designed to help you to mount your blinds, curtain, and brackets in minutes. Two glass bubbles that will help you ensure brackets alignment above or sides of the windows and doors. Also comes with a 90 degree angle to fit most of the left and right side edge of the windows and doors with or without frames. You can place these tools higher or lower, horizontally or vertically, to mark and install your brackets. On a 4 by 24 inch, there's the squares above holes shown here. This will help you to mount center bracket on a larger windows and doors and I will show that on the next video. Also in the next video, I will show you how to use these tool to mount pictures on the wall. The tool is not only beautifully designed, it's lightweight and easy to use. The purpose of having these tools is another alternative of measuring. What I mean by that, in the past, before I mounted my blind brackets, I used measuring tape to measure each corner of the window and mark the area where I want to install brackets but measuring each corner for me was a tedious and boring process. So I didn't like it at all. So I have to decide to look for a tool that I use to mount these brackets faster and less time without using measuring tape. And this is it. Rotary Precision Corner tool not only got the rest of my windows down on time, but also looking forward to mount more blinds and curtains in the future. One more thing I forgot to show here, there's another size that comes in 3 by 6 inch to use on a small windows and doors. It's portable and lightweight to carry around with you for other mounting application. So the next clip, what you're about to see is a demonstration on how I use this 3 by 12 inch tool to mount two brackets above my closet door to show you how easy and simple to use. To start, I purchased this curtain rod that comes with two brackets and also comes with the screws and plastic anchors. Plastic anchors is very important to have for better mounting. And also to my left, you need to have a screwdriver or you prefer electric screwdriver and a pencil for marking. So the next step First is place the head of the tool on the left side edge of a corner. Mark the area of installation. This one I choose to mark one inch from that corner. At the same time look at the levels to ensure alignment. Then you place the head on the right side and mark the inch, same you did on the left side. And again, look at the levels. For After you mark the one inch mark, place the screw and tighten it. If for any reason the screw is not going in smoothly, then you need a drill to start with. Drill a hole and then you mount the screw. But for this example, the screw is going in no problem. Then you mount the bracket. Then tight the screw further in till it's tight. After mounting the bracket, place the tool on the bracket at a 90 degree angle and look at the level of alignment. Make sure the level is centered. And in this case, it's centered. After done installing the bracket on the left side, make sure you do the same thing on the right side. Then you mount the curtain rod 
and make sure it's aligned properly. Make sure each screw is tight on both ends. And now we have the curtain rod installed in minutes. For more information about the Precision Corner tool, please go to www.precisioncorner.com. Thank you for watching.